On any given day in this country, more than 75,000 military veterans are homeless. So we were shocked to discover what's become of land in Southern California that was meant to house homeless veterans, and once did. Bill Whitaker investigated. In four tours in Iraq, Sergeant Freddy Cordova saw friends blown up by IEDs and learned to kill or be killed. Now what keeps you warm in Iraq during the winter? It's, it's your hate. Back home in 2008, he was diagnosed with severe depression and post-traumatic stress disorder. It made me very angry, very ill-tempered, very short-tempered. After intensive VA counseling, he keeps his rage under control and channels the negative into positive. Freddy. Freddy, all right. Freddy. He helps vets with even worse PTSD, like Vietnam vet John Aldridge, who can't hold a job and lives by a freeway in L.A. L.A. is the homeless vet capital of the U.S. with more than 8,000 on city streets. It makes Cordova angry again, especially since just blocks away sits almost 400 acres, half the size of Central Park, donated to the U.S. government after the Civil War expressly to provide housing for disabled veterans. While today there is a large VA hospital there and an old home for veterans, most of the land and buildings that once housed homeless vets have been vacant and dilapidated for decades. What's more, with the city encroaching on all sides, the VA now leases about a third of the property for private use, to a bus company, to Enterprise Rent-A-Car, for UCLA's baseball stadium, a private school's athletic field. There's even a golf course and a dog park, and there's no public record of where the money goes. Because I just get furious about it. For seven years, Bobby Shriver, former mayor of nearby Santa Monica, has been pressing the VA to spend the money to provide housing for homeless, traumatized vets. I think it's terrible. I think that allowing people to live in the street and die when you have this kind of a facility and this kind of treatment is it's under. So he joined veterans and the ACLU in a lawsuit to force the VA to rehab this facility to house two to three hundred vets with PTSD. The Department of Veterans Affairs declined to talk to us, but insists it has gotten thousands of homeless veterans off the streets and into community centers. Last week, the VA announced a master plan to rehab buildings here for veterans suffering PTSD. But the plan has no timetable and no budget. Which likely means no help anytime soon for homeless vets like Luis Gonzalez and his wife. He says Vietnam was easier than the streets. Because the military, this survival. You gotta kill to survive. But out here is hard. If we don't get him off the streets, he's gonna be another one that's, you know, that's MIA. He's here missing in America. While the courts decide the best use of this property, Freddy Cordova will do the best he can, helping one vet at a time. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Los Angeles.